All right, let's go ahead and start our meeting for tonight. We want to welcome each and every one of you to the Planners Commissioner meeting. We thank you. Uh, for all those of you, especially if you're residents of Horn Lake, we want to thank you for being here tonight. Uh, we don't normally get a crowd, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll go ahead and have our meeting and do city business anyway. So we want to thank you, but we do have I know one, I know one proud member, a citizen that's here tonight, so we want to thank you for being here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a Pledge of Allegiance. It's not on the agenda, but we want to make sure we stick with it. On tonight, this is the first meeting for our new commissioners. Uh, and we want to just uh, give everybody a chance just to get to know uh, uh, those who was on, in office already. We'll just start from left to right. Uh, Mr. Yeager's been on the commissioner board, and uh, we just want you to introduce you to Mr. Yeager, uh, who's here. We also have Mr. George Dixon. Now, he, he's, he's no rookie uh, to Horn Lake. <laughs> Mr. Uh, George Dixon. Mr. Dixon and I had several talks, and we enjoyed uh, this campaign season. I'm Jimmy Stokes, uh, representing Ward 5. We have also Mr. Uh, Stapleton, yes, uh, representing Ward number what? Three, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it, Francis? Alderman at large. Alderman at large. He's representing that's right, that's right. Alderman at large. <laughs> and we have Miss uh, Little, Angie Little, representing Ward six. Ward 6, uh, and she's new to the board, and also uh, Mr. Stapleton. Mr. Stapleton, you have experience in the past with the board, yes. right? Okay, so he's no rookie either, all right? So he's already well-versed on uh, being a commissioner. We have Mr. Engelke, uh, who's also a returning uh, commissioner. I think you represent uh, Ward uh, 1, right, Mr. That's Engelke? That's correct. Yeah. All right. And, and returning also, Ms. Uh, uh, our secretary, the note-taker, the uh, keep things in order. Uh, Ms. Linda uh, McGann, McGann, right? McGann, McGann. So we're just glad to have her, and she's Ward. Ward three. Ward three. Uh, so we just want to just thank all those who are serving. Remember, this is a volunteer job. <laughs> we're appointed to the board, and we're just glad to be able to serve our city uh, from this capacity and represent our wards and represent uh, the city overall. Uh, we don't have one commissioner, Ms. Janice Vidal. She wasn't informed on the swearing in, uh, and, and she would like for us to table this uh, swearing in, I mean the election of, of chairs. Are y'all okay with that? Ms. Janice, she would like for us to wait on her since she wasn't informed on the swearing in. Yeah, she wants us to see if we can wait to elect on the next meeting. Yeah. Yeah, because I think several people weren't informed who didn't make it last Tuesday. When's she coming back? She'll be at the next meeting. But she attract, she's going to, yeah, next month, so she'll attempt to be sworn in by then, and then we can also uh, make an election with all of the commissioners here. Everybody fine with that? Okay. All right. Uh, so we'll move on and we'll table that to the next meeting. Uh, let's move on with the approval of uh, the meetings. Have everybody had a chance to look over the... We have to take roll call. Oh, yeah, go ahead and do that. Okay, George Dixon. You're supposed to say present. Oh, excuse me, George Dixon. Present. Here, here. present. Here. present. <laughs> Chad Engelke. Here. Angie Little. Present. Linda McGann. Present. Jay Stapleton. Here. Jimmy Stokes. Here. Andrew Yeager. Here. And Janice Bedell. Okay, we have um, seven present and one absent. All right, let's move forward to the approval of the previous minutes. We have a motion to approve. Make a motion we approve minutes. Do we have a second? I'll second. Any discussion? I have a change uh, correction on the minutes. In the first paragraph, it says that our meeting was Monday, May the 24th, and it was actually Monday, June 28th, as it states at the top. 
Uh, can we get uh, it changed with the, uh, in this motion? I'll get that to Bob. Okay. All right. Um, can we get a roll call on the vote? Okay. How would y'all like to vote? I personally like everybody to vote yes or no. It's easier to understand than yay and nay. Okay. So if you would vote yes or no. Okay. Do you approve the minutes? George Dixon? Yay. Chad Engelke? Yes. Angie Little? Yes. Linda McGann? Yes. Jay Stapleton? Yes. Jimmy Stokes? Yes. Andrew Yeager? Yes. And Janice Fidel is absent. Minutes are approved, seven to one absent. All right, due to there being no old business, we'll go ahead and go into new business, and we only have one thing on the agenda tonight, case number 2047RZ uh, with Creek Plan Unit Development. Yes, thank you, sir. Um, this is, um, I believe, the first time that this has come before uh, the Planning Commission. Uh, this is a, a PUD that was approved in DeSoto County. I'm, I'm sorry, does that help? I'm sorry. It was a PUD that was approved in DeSoto County and um, the, the PUD expired that this particular property was annexed into Horn Lake as a PUD that was approved in the county. But since nothing happened, of course that was during recession time, since nothing happened uh, for it to start, it, it expired in, in uh, 2009. The, the property has since been purchased and the developers want to start the project back again. So since it has expired, that requires a new vote on a PUD, and, and the vote on a PUD is, is a zoning change. It's a zoning change, but we're not changing. We're going from PUD to PUD, so it's not actually a change from one zone to another, but it has to be, um, has to be approved. So like I said, this is uh, the first, um, first time out of the uh, gate for this to come to you guys. I know some of you are new, so I'll try to uh, slowly, slowly walk you through, uh, through the process and through uh, this particular development. Um, a plan unit development is um, a, a different kind of zone. It's not a specific zone for one particular use like an R1 or R2. It's, uh, it's usually a, a diverse uh, lot size, also diverse diversity in uses sometimes. There's uh, often commercial uh, parts of a PUD as well as residential. So, um, so they're, they're uh, formed basically between the city and the developer and they come to agreement on the types of uses that would be um, allowed in there and the design and what things look like and how the common areas function and all that sort of thing. So uh, what I'm going to share with you, uh, which is Bob's staff report, you guys have had an opportunity to read um, through this is that um, these are the things that he noted as the original conditions of the plan unit development that happened in DeSoto County, um, and which he says still appear to be applicable and are, are stated here. 1,800 square foot minimum home sizes with two car garages, um, reduced street cross sections, which means from a 30 foot pavement size to a 24 to 26 narrower street, which is in keeping with some of the traditional uh, development. Um, a clause in the covenant that upon failure of the HOA, the city has the right to assess a special tax for common area maintenance. Um, HOAs are sometimes they work very well and they function great and sometimes they don't. I think you guys had experience with both. So, so you know that and, and when this was negotiated, that was the discussion about if there's any, any failure of the HOA. Um, a higher design quality of homes, and they use the Delta Bluffs design as an example of the types of homes. And we can talk a little bit more about what constitutes um, a higher design quality um, versus one that's, that's not. Uh, sidewalks on two sides of the streets, it's interesting. That was generally uh, discussed a lot back in, in the day. It's not discussed so much now because it's sort of assumed that that, that would happen. Uh, design detail for walking trails and Goodman Road frontage to include a rural style frontage fencing. Um, that's, I don't know exactly what rural style, but I guess it won't be a concrete barrier or something, <laughs> something of that nature that doesn't look rural. Uh, and then a stub street requirement on the northeast section of the property so that it would connect to any other property that, that is developed or would be developed. 
Um, Bob also made some additional recommendations, and he may be joining us on the phone. I'm not sure. He's at the Miss Mississippi Municipal League. Uh, he teaches there every year. Uh, so he may join us if you have some specific questions of him. But um, he did note that in the the house plan designs that only one of those in the lower left hand corner uh, on page 22 of the master plan he would consider it acceptable in terms of design given that this was part of the process of negotiating this PUD back in the county that was then annexed by, uh, by the city of Horn Lake. Um, the remainder are recommended to be rejected due to low design quality, lack of porches, protruding garages, substandard roof pitches, recessed doors that sort of thing. And th these are the, um, w when cities make statements about durability and aesthetically pleasing, that's generally regard to having an investment in the future uh, of what uh, a house style looks like, what it contributes to the community, how it faces the street, um, uh, and how the, how the neighborhood looks. Um, an acceptable common area plan shall be provided prior to final subdivision. Uh, application and um, Bob did note that those those details like uh, the benches and the landscaping and all that sort of thing pretty important a uh, cluster mailbox unit now is required by the post office so where is that going to be can people safely park there these are all questions that really really need to be answered and some of them before the, the subdivision process uh, they would happen in this process um, certainly tree mitigation shall be carried out in accordance with the ordinance standards um, he did note that um, the sign regulations appear to allow for signage areas greater than the zoning ordinance, but the zoning ordinance, of course, the sizes will apply to this, even though the design of them, it's fine, whatever's in the master plan, but the sizes uh, would be what the, um, the Horn Lake sign ordinance states. Um, the engineers requested additional detail regarding the stormwater management, and you guys have in front of you an email that he sent Friday with some detailed questions and we'll get those certainly to the, to the developer. Uh, there's some things that he'd like to see answered. Uh, and then the fence design standard, and I apologize for this is not, not fully uh, spelled out, should be, pro uh, should be provided to assure that it's aesthetically pleasing and durable. Those are the individual homeowner fences, not, not common area fencing that Bob's referring to in this to make sure that we don't have the kind of what begins to happen to certain types of wooden fencing along the way. It deteriorates and then there's no requirement. Um, there could be something in the HOA documents maybe to require that or a certain style of fence, maybe a capped as opposed to a dog-eared wood fence, something like that, that would, uh, that, how that kind of makes the, um, the neighborhoods deteriorate quickly when the fencing deteriorates. So, and of course, as you know, the, the recommendation of the Planning Commission, this is a, this is a zoning issue, uh, will go to the, the Mayor and Board of Aldermen, um, whatever recommendation that you make. So um, I'm, I'm going to give you the, the options and then let the developer speak to the project. Um, you can approve it as it exists tonight and say this is fine, everything is okay, the master plan is fine. Um, you can deny it or you can continue. Um, if there are some un unanswered questions that you'd like to see answered in more detail, that would mean that you would ask for a continuance of this and, uh, and table it for the evening and look at it at another meeting. So those are the options. Um, any questions of me before we have the, the developer or engineer speak? Yeah. Tonight what we're approving is, is the, uh, number two on the site history. Pretty much we're approving to keep that and reinstate that. Yeah, it would be reinstating the, the planned unit development with those particular um, uh, parts of the PUD that were, um, that were there in, when the county approved it and then when the, when the um, city annexed it. And then, of course, Bob's made some recommendations, so you'd have to make a decision about which of those recommendations you want to hold to and which ones you don't. And, um, and, that, and that sort of thing. So you would, um, and again, in approving it as it is, the additional recommendations are not in that master plan right now. Those additional recommendations aren't. So and the recommendations are the email, right? And those aren't, those aren't either. Yeah, that's the engineer. Bob, Bob also made under number three additional recommendations in addition to what's listed in the existing PUD from when the county approved it. And that's number three on your on the staff report. 
And those, those would not be included right now in the master plan unless, there's, unless that ends up in, in a motion if you decide to, to approve it. Like I said, or you can deny it or you can, uh, you can do a continuance and answer some of the questions okay. in the meantime. So there's already an 1800 minimum house size with two garages already there? That that's already exists, yeah, in the, in the existing PUD. So he's talking about that those, those particular um, provisions uh, are, he thinks are, continue to be applicable and can be carried over, but then he noted some additional recommendations. And then the, the recommendations also of the, the um, city engineer. Okay. Okay, we're re ready for the representative. We have a representative here tonight. <coughs> All right, could you all just state your name? And yes, Paul you? Frazier, PFMT Holdings, 5055 Pleasant View, Memphis, Tennessee. The recommendations that uh, Ms. Johnston's referring to, we have not seen those yet. So I, I don't know what they are. I, I'd really like to go through them tonight to speed this thing up. So if there's anything that I can answer, we just have, we haven't received any of this info. We've redone what Bob wanted so far. Okay, so these new recommendations you haven't heard at all? Uh, no, okay. sir. And also uh, the recommendations from the senior engineer manager, Greg Russell, you haven't, heard, you haven't seen those either? Haven't. Okay, so if we were to approve tonight with those recommendations, you, you would technically have no idea <laughs> of what, what we would be approving, right? Yeah, that's right? Okay. I mean, I can take two minutes and read them real quick. I, I know number one's okay. <laughs> Um, would y'all like to give them a couple minutes to read over them, uh, look at them, and, or yeah, and, and if you uh, want to move it to another meeting, it's up to you. All right. Just give us about, just won't we'll take but a minute. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any music or anything for this moment. Uh, so what we'll do, we don't have any, uh, we don't have a, a break plan, but if y'all want to give them five minutes to look over it while... Uh, the rest of us mingle for a minute. Uh, that'd be fine. Also, would y'all like to give them five minutes? Yeah, some of some more copies at the desk. Okay, some more copies at the desk in the back uh, of, of these. Okay, they might not have a full copy. This the uh, this the last meet notes. You need to you need, you, should, you don't have this in your back. Can you can you mute the live mute the live? Not in your back. Mute the live until we get out the break. We're doing a five minute break. What time is it? I don't know. 6.17. See if Miss Sally got an extra copy. You asked. You asked Jimmy.
All right, we're going to come out of the break. Uh, representatives are not ready. The commissioners are not ready. Um, do anybody, uh, do you want to go over what you all are trying to do and also talk about the recommendation of the engineer and also uh, Mr. Bob? Yes, sir. Right now, uh, I'm looking at the, I'm going to call it the counties list that they had. I, I think Ms. Johnson's getting another one done, but uh, I don't have any problem with, with everything that's on these right now. Okay. So they're, they're, they're pretty cut and dry. Most of these will be handled with the engineer plans that will be submitted for, for approval. Okay, so you approve both of those uh, additional uh, requests? I, I have not seen the other ones, but these are the counties. These are the counties. That, right? That's the city. The, the, the city. City, the city, I'm sorry. Engineer, engineer. Okay. Yeah, this is the city yeah, engineer. Okay. Okay. No, he has not. Sorry. So you still haven't seen the counties? I have so, not seen the counties. You, do you want to go over for Ms. Helen? Well, the county, the county would be when, when, if you looked at the original plan unit development, that's the, that's the county's negotiated HUD is the original one, and that's what, what are, is noted here. I'm going to have to do something with your email. Hold on just a second. Let me get that situated. So have you seen Mr. Bob's also su additional suggestions? Because they would be. Yeah, that's the one I'm, I'm I, on. I, I, I haven't. They're, they're in here. Yeah, we have them, but. Uh, mm -hmm. But you've not been provided. No, ma'am. They were not supplied to us. You've not been provided with that. No, ma'am. So you and you and Bob didn't have a discussion about design, design of homes and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh. I, I did one time. Uh huh. Okay. This is Tim D'Agostino. He is uh, the planner that works for WH Porter, which is which is our engineer. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you, Mr. Mr. What? D'Agostino. D'Agostino. Do you have one of those uh, uh, names? That <laughs> Mr. Dacasino, uh -huh. nice to have you tonight. Ms. Seller, would you like to go with Mr. Bob's recommendations? Uh, yeah, so I do. That they'll be, I want everybody to be fully informed. Sure, absolutely. Um, but I just, I just texted Bob. He said he went over the house design requirements with, with a project representative on Friday as well. They're well aware of the home design matters so that we, need, we could discuss that. And he said he went over them with you, Tim? With, okay, all right. So the, the information, I don't know, the, the staff reports aren't all often handed out to, you know, to the development community, but there is discussion beforehand certainly about it, so I don't know what, what the staff reports were or not. So let me go over what was originally in, uh, in the county. So 1,800 minimum um, square foot home sizes with two garages. That's heated and cooled. That's okay. Uh, reduced street cross sections, so instead of 30 feet, it'd be narrower. Um, clause in the covenants that upon failure of the HOA, the city has the right to assess a special tax for common area maintenance. That would be in the HOA documents. Okay. Um, higher design quality of homes. I think this is where maybe there's been some discussion and disagreement um, about the, the style of the homes. And so the, the residential pattern book will show the potential homes and the way that they'll look. So these recessed entries, those kinds of things, or not something, and the reason I say that is what the Planning Commission is representing and what Bob is representing the Planning Commission is what the elected officials have talked to him about. So this is what Horn Lake wants for, for its residential community. It's not what Bob or I want, but it's what, what the city would like to have. Is a, a, it's a different interface with the street in terms of the way those houses look, front porches, that sort of thing, as opposed to these recessed albeit dangerous entryways that, that go back into the, uh, into the houses and uh, snout houses and those sorts of things. So, are, oh, are We'll be more than happy to answer any questions about the houses. Okay. Well, I actually brought the builder with me. This is Dante Esposito right. with D.R. Horton Homes. Mm -hmm. So any questions anybody has about the houses that are provided in the... And also what we're, what we're talking about is is seeing a is a, a re, an illustrative representation of those, not not just a necessarily a promise that those will be there, but also an illustrative representation because that's what you'll be voting on is what you see in front of you. So um, so you'll need you'll need to see that just like you'll need to see about the stormwater and, and take a look at those things as opposed to yes we'll do that yes we'll do that yes we'll do that. So you guys are from especially those of you who've been on the planning commission before you're familiar right. with this. Um, so if we, if we voted on this tonight, if it was approved and we said we want to add the additional recommendations that we have from 
Uh, city, the city engineer and Bob, uh, Bob Barker, mm -hmm. would, would that now become part of the, would that become part of the, the agreement we approved? Well, it, it would, but you're putting an awful lot of conditions on something you're not seeing. So just when you talk about my advice as a planner, right. uh, it's, prefer, it's preferable to actually see that in front of you, whatever that illustration like, because the, um, the, the, the um, Commissioner Stokes. The things that you see, whether it's um, uh, it, it, that, that's part of the actual ordinance is what you right. see. So the treatment of the common areas, what kind of housing, all those sorts of things, however they're uh, projected to, to look, they're illustrated in the master plan becomes ordinance. Yes. So uh, if you say, because what we've seen in the past as planners and planning commissions have seen sometimes is wonderfully illustrated. We're going to do this and grandiose we're building, you know, the Golden Gate Bridge across this creek and then what you get is some timbers and nothing. So the illustrations are actually part of a part of the PUD ordinance, the way things are illustrated. So the housing types, you know, the benches, the, the cluster mailbox, pergola, whatever it might be, the way that it's illustrated is important for you to see. And so, uh, again, uh, PUDs are, they don't often take a, they can, uh, if they're perfect, a first meeting, approval, everything's great, we've worked everything out, because you need an opportunity to review what you're Correct. looking at and to, to make a decision based on what's being illustrated. So that's, that's the planner part of me just telling you from experience that uh, it's good to hear these things and this is where we need to work it out in public like this. This is great to have this discussion. Correct. I'm just saying that when it comes time to vote, you, you may want to say that's fine, go back, illustrate that, bring it back, then fine, we're good to go. So. Correct, gotcha. Let me recognize Commissioner Engelke. Yes, I was just I was just going to uh, put it out there, uh, go, kind of going off what um, uh, she was saying is that uh, even when we, with reading through this, I mean, there would have to be some. I mean, because like line number three on the city engineer even states that he he would he don't see no storm water management areas shown. Now the they may be willing to do whatever is necessary to get that storm, but we would have to see it in the plans. So I'm, I'm all for today discussing maybe what we're wanting and what we're needing for it to be illustrated. But then we would need to, I, my opinion, would be to vote for a continuance to another time for them to get time to get what we need drawn up. That would be my recommendation as we discuss today. Thank you. They'll, they'll be part of the construction documents as we'll, as we're building the SWIP for the project. The plan is, a, is, a, is basically a preliminary plan. Well, it's, it, not, it's not, not, not technically. There's a certain amount of entitlement that goes with a zoning change and an and and approval, a zoning approval that's different from a preliminary plat. plat. So this is, this is not the preliminary plat. That will, that will come later, but this is where everything is figured out. What, what you want to, to see in this, in this master plan, this is, this is a zoning issue right now. This is not a subdivision, subdivision issue. But in a PUD, you're taking a look at the, at the master plan, at the whole deal, and, and being comfortable with what you're going to get and the end product. And those things will come. You will get a preliminary plat. Well, you'll get a, you'll get a preliminary final, and then you'll have construction drawings, and you'll have all that stuff that will happen later, uh, and, and that will come. But I'm, I'm just talking about in terms of you being comfortable with what, with what is illustrated in the master plan tonight. If you're totally comfortable with it, that's one thing. If there's some questions, and the engineer certainly has some questions, wants to see some things, um, you guys make the decision. You've been appointed by, by the board, but I'm just telling you that zoning has a certain amount of entitlement that comes with it, and you, and you should be, well, like you always are. You're cautious when you take a look at things. So. Okay. Do any other commission, commissioner? I have uh, several Thanks. concerns. I'm looking at this one page where you have a water flow. Yes, sir. Looking at almost a thousand acres of, of the watershed coming yes, sir. north and west of there is two or three large subdivisions. A lot of concrete <laughs> coming down on your property. Yes, sir. Where's it going to go? Back on, I don't see a page. At the bottom. It, it's, the, it's the layout. Yes, sir. Street A is coming from us. Okay, page 13. Okay, 
Street A is coming out of the subdivisions north. I'm sorry, uh, west. That's going to be a fuel fare for those people who leave those subdivisions on the west or north side coming through your subdivision into Goodman Road. What happens to all that water when it comes down the creek and floods? Are you going to have a bridge across there on Street A? As of right now, it, these plans are not engineered. Okay, well. And the, the, the water that's coming from the west, there's retention and detention set up in that. My partner and I also own that subdivision. Okay. It's, fixing to, it's fixing to be built. Retention. Sir? So I don't see any retention uh, facilities that will handle that amount of water coming down. I got a, a drainage water concern. Yes, sir. In that street A coming through your subdivision. Yes, sir. That's going to be a real shortcut for those people going up north and west. Well, you 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 have three ponds on this on this side. They're not going to handle that water coming off the palisade. No. That's my concern with the water flow, and I think it's pretty major. It, I'm, the, my engineer will take care of it. I mean, and I, I think it's also one of the, uh, the engineer city engineers' concerns. Also, I think that's why she's saying uh, you may want to get back with them. And then come back, and I think that's what Mr. Uh, well, we just haven't got to that point yet. I mean, we're well, trying to get past. We're trying to get the first base. Well, he makes the statement. The engineer makes the statement that the um, with a preliminary layout, it may affect the number of lots and possibly the layout. So one thing does affect the other, and it's just good. It's a good idea to have a general idea about what what that looks like in the front. It's not. We're not talking about construction drawings. It's not the same thing. Right. But just a general idea about how this is going to work. Because that's that's important. That's part of it. You got you got really good people on your team. They can come up with answers for all of this. And we're not. I'm not seeing it tonight. Well, we have we have one as far. We've done the environmental study, which that was the first part of what you were looking at on the. I don't remember what page it was on. So we've got that far. We have done some preliminary work. We just have, have not okay. got that's what, real deep yeah. into the engineer plans yet. Let's look at that on a piece of paper, black and white. Right. I was going to say the water that does, the 1,000 acres that does, the 1,000 acres of water that does come through the property, we don't actually detain that. You let that flow through. We just detain our water that's created off of our property. That's true. But you got those two or three large subdivisions up north and west of you. Mm -hmm. None of that land absorbs the rain. It's running off into your property. So you're going to have a, a big water problem with one of these rains that we have around here. Mm -hmm. And it's going to flood those houses that, that backs up to the creek. And we'll look into We've already looked into a lot of it. We'll look into it more. Right. It seems that, seem like, like, seem like that's what the recommendations are. Uh, also, just to take a look, just take a deeper look into it. And yeah. You probably want to meet with the engineer and Mr. Bob also, and as a group <laughs> instead of one, because it appeared that you all didn't know about these uh, recommendations. And I would suggest, as a commission, that you all get with them and look at them, and then present a package where you have more agreement with the engineer and Mr. Baker also. Now we've spent two months to get to this meeting to, to not get these comments till today. I think you're talking specifically about this, the, about the staff report, but there have been meetings and comments, my understanding. And, the, and, and those have happened. And we've addressed the ones we've gotten. Okay. So what, have, what haven't you addressed? You, I, what I didn't seen, you get? I haven't seen this list. I haven't seen the, the list that, uh, that, that you were reading off of that, that right. Mr. Well, Barber. Yeah, well, this came, this came Friday. But I know that you and Bob have talked about the house plans. I know that because he said you all had a discussion I, about I'd right, love to talk the quality about the house of the housing. Plans. I, okay. I just don't necessarily mean I agree with everything Mr. I, Barber, I understand. Barber I understand. That's, that's so what, so that's what I want to suggest is that we do what Mr. Engelke said, do, do a continuance. You know, get back with us. I'm sure we're willing to meet on it whenever we need to. But, and if we if we do the continue, if you want to, well, no, I, I just want to I was just going to state a couple things. One is it's my understanding, and I can be corrected. 
Um, now, the, the city engineer, I, I would probably say, I mean, I'm not, I don't work for the city or anything, but, you know, maybe y'all should have got that list. I mean, I, that's not on, on, on us on here at the planning committee. Right. But the, now the recommendations that, that Bob had provided, that was just recommendations to us to consider when we're discussing. So you wouldn't have got that list until tonight anyway. This would have been for us because we may have not agreed with that list. We may agree with it totally. So I'm just putting that out there to make sure that you all understand mm -hmm. that the, the list that Bob is is that only if we agree yeah. as a commission mm -hmm. that that's what we want you to, to consider and provide for us. Now, like I said, I can't speak to the city engineer because the city engineer is with the city and I can't speak for him, but I just know that this recommendations would have been something we would have been considering mm -hmm. tonight regardless and you wouldn't have got that list prior to other than if it was part of the discussion that you all had with Bob at some point. But um, I would like to make a motion that we um, make, it, make a continuance on this to our next meeting to allow the, um, the developers and all to get together to consider uh, the city engineer's um, concerns and also um, for Bob to provide him with the other recommendations to see what is feasible um, of those letters A through G that he put on the additional recommendations. Second that motion. Do we have a second? I've got, got a question. Hold on. Do we have, we have a second? Second. Okay, we have any discussion? Um, well, everybody was talking about the, you know, the water storage and water drainage. All these subdivisions to the west and north, are they, are they at a way higher elevation than this 150 acres, or is it all the same elevation? Because water's obviously going to run downhill, but uh, they're talking about all this water running off the concrete. Is it all running northwest into your 150 acres, or is it... Is your 150 acres in a hole? To the to part of it is yes. Oh, it is. Okay. Part of the property to the west, like I said, we're fixing to start. We're waiting on a few more things. We're waiting on an M deck permit. We've got 87 lots that we're fixing to fixing to start there. Yeah. And which it it detains its own water and. Yeah. I, to answer your question, we just haven't not got deep enough with the engineer plans. I mean. I'd be more than happy to go through any part or any part of the development packet with everybody. I mean, the, we're, the, we're already in a motion now, so let's go ahead and uh, vote on this, and then we do the continuance uh, based on this vote. Go ahead, Ms. Ms. McLean. Okay. So does every does everybody understand what you're voting on? We're voting on a continuance. To the next meeting. Yes. Okay. Or, are we not going to talk about the the, the wide and, the, and how short, now how narrow the roads are going to be? Like, you know, what you yeah. We're not going to talk. We're going to actually motion. We're getting to that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. ask a question. Well, we just, just well, 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 no. I, well, this you know what, what we're doing is making a, a motion to continue this to the next, next meeting. Next meeting, yeah. We are for them to get answers that we're already asking. For a lot of this, and then we can discuss all the things that y'all have concerns with. That's what we were actually making the motion for: is to the continuance, and then we'll, this will be over with until next meeting. Correct, because uh, the information that we have that's new, we want to give them a chance uh, to be able to fully go through it with the in, with the city engineer, with Mr. Bob. Bob, whatever they need to do, and we can continue it in the next meeting. But now that we are in the motion, let's go ahead and get the vote. There's a lot of unknowns. Yes, let's go ahead and get the vote. Can I ask for a point of order? We want to go ahead and get the vote. Shouldn't we have an opportunity to present what we're doing before you vote it down? We're we, not voting we, it down. We're voting to continue. Continue in either one. We still haven't had a chance to even present what well, we're doing. Well, we're already in a, we're in a, we're in a motion and we have information that uh, you haven't been privileged to have and go over well. We haven't had it. Uh, we have some new information also. But because, because we're already in a motion, we're going to go ahead and close uh, this part out. But you, didn't, you don't even have the information that we have in front of you yet. We'll, that's we'll, my go, point we'll of go over it when we get the full package and everything that's been requested by the commissioners. Thank you. Okay. Um, Chad, you made the motion. Did we get a second? Yeah, I second. Too many unknowns. Okay, um, George Dixon. Yay. Yes. Yay. Chad Engelke. Yes. Angie Little. Yes. Linda McGann. Yes. Jay Stapleton. Yes. Jimmy Stokes. Yes. Andrew Yeager. Yes. 
and Janice is absent. That's um, seven for postponing it for continuation. One absent. Did George Dixon make the second? Yes, he did. Yes. Now, commissioners, y'all want to just adjourn it in? Uh, do y'all want to discuss anything with them about your personal concerns of it, or do y'all want to just adjourn? I mean, we can adjourn first, and then because it's going to be off the record anyway, we can end the meeting. Or do y'all want to just? Uh, well, I think they want to discuss it, but we need something in writing. Okay, so we just adjourn until it continues. Okay. All right. I make a motion that we adjourn. We have a second. Or is that to adjourn? Roll call. Well, I'd like to have some answers on some couple of questions. Okay. Well, you second to uh, adjourn if you want to just meet with them after. Do what? Just meet with them after because you're already second to adjourn. Uh, roll call. Roll call for adjournment. George Dixon? Yep. Chad Engelke? Yes. Angie Little? Yes. Linda McGann? Yes. Jay Stapleton? Yes. Jimmy Stokes? Yes. Andrew Yeager? Yes. Okay, meeting is adjourned. <laughs>